This is a uh, three-month review of the Atlas Coffee Club. I got three coffees from three different locations around the world. You can pick dark roast, medium roast, light roast only, either one or the two, or leave it wide open. I left mine wide open, so for the three months I got Guatemala, which was a dark, oh no, a light roast, but more, it's just dark text here, so that kind of threw me off there. I thought it was like, oh, okay, it's dark, but it was a light roast. It was very enjoyable, like the Guatemala. Right now, I think I'm on Uganda, and I like it also, so a light roast. Two light roasts that I, I highly recommend. And I really enjoy the, the Kenya Rift Valley, um, which is a medium roast. So I, I don't get too much of the dark roast. Actually, I did say medium light for this three-month selection. I didn't leave it wide open like I normally do because I'm finding by doing this that I don't necessarily like dark roast, which is in contrast to what I thought initially because I really enjoy espresso and I enjoy lattes. So each bag is representative of kind of like the colors and art of the region. Um, so this is the Kenya, and you notice that the paperwork at, coincides with that pattern. Actually blends right in, boom, connects. Um, and then when you read about the area, it, it may say something about it being earthy or vibrant, you know, with like Guatemala, I'm sure it's really vibrant. Look, look at the colors here. I've never been to Guatemala, but um, I'm sure when I read the, when you read about the postcard, because it gives you some insight about the area, that it'll probably speak to uh, the colorfulness of the people, like, okay, giant cloth kites, Mayan people, um, different things like that. So you get a little, you get a postcard, which in this era where you can't really travel that easily, it gives you a little bit of travel through taste and, and smell, you know, through the coffee and through reading about what it's like to be in that area. And it's just interesting that the area, the parts of the world that produce coffee you know have a lot in common like look at these three postcards we have a mountain and clouds we have a mountainous background clouds we have mountain clouds you know these two are drier areas and this as well they're kind of dry areas uh, i'm guessing they're somewhat off the equator you know getting a lot of sun so um other than that whoop, Let's see what they have. Um, you'll get the tasting notes. So in the Guatemalan, it's red grape, lemon, oat. For the Uganda blend, it's blueberry, lemon, lime, brown sugar. And for the Kenyan Rift Valley, it is red apple, baking spice, and oat milk. So a big, big variance in flavors, which tells you that coffee is not ubiquitous. You know, it does tastes different depending on where it is coming from. This one recommends a Chemex. This one re recommends a, a Drip. This one an Aeropress. So three different styles to kind of extract those tasting notes. Um, so not only do you travel to the area with the postcard for each, you get some of the color uh, and, and culture, again, with the bags and the art. Um, but on the back side, you get the coffee history of the region. Um, so each of these, and I'm not going to read through each, but each of these has a rich coffee history. Um, I'll put each up. You can pause and read about it, each one if you want. It tells you the region and the process for how um, they produce the beans and the altitude. Okay, here is Uganda. And Kenya. That way you can read about each. And I'll hold the postcard 
for each so you could read you could pause and read the postcard so this is Guatemala here's Uganda and Kenya so this is just an example of what a three-month experience you could call it a subscription if you want it's a gift um, it could be a one-off so however you want to experience coffee in a different way sure you could go to um, your store at, at, you know a supermarket or a store and buy some whole beans but I noticed that when you go to the supermarket nowadays that it's not common to have a, a wide selection of whole bean that the majority of it is already ground so with that this is a good way to get that differentiation around the world you're supporting these these smaller batch um, farmers and and families of these countries I, I think it's an all-around uh, good experience good story good gift I happen to subscribe to it you know every you know month to month to month annually I give it out as a gift um, I, th I think it's great so let me know if you have experienced the Atlas Coffee Club or another coffee club or a similar coffee club and let, let me know about it I would love to hear your experience with it and would love to hear your experience with uh, this product specifically all right take care